a do governorship election. This unity in APC camp worries party stakeholders. Oh boy. So there's this unity in APC camp in a do state. Abi. And uh, they're already saying that uh, the APC uh, is, or, is overshadowing PDP in a do state. So was it a propaganda? <laughs> we need to understand. Eh? So what is that disunity that is taking place? We know that one of it is that Ganduje national chairman is going because of corruption allegations on his neck at uh, Kano State. Okay, coupled with the fact that they want to remove him so that somebody from North Central can come and take over the affairs of the party at national level. So I know that there is a lot of issues with this APC. So with the way things are going, uh, PDP has its own internal crisis, APC has its own internal crisis as well that is engulfing it right now from what we can see. As the countdown to the Edo state governorship election intensifies, the All Progressive Congress APC is reportedly grappling with internal discord and disunity within its ranks. The emergence of Senator Monday Opebolo as the APC's candidate has brought to the fore smearing tensions and conflicting interests, casting a shadow over the party's prospects in the upcoming electoral context. So at the heart of the disunity plaguing the party camp, uh, plaguing the APC camp, is a political office sharing scandal involving Senator Monde Okwebolo. Can you imagine? Political office sharing. The same problem they have in uh, in uh, PDP, where Iwodalo is beginning to have issue with uh, Baseki because of already predetermined cabinet list. Now, the same problem is coming to APC again. <laughs> Voila. These are like arm robbers. We are never loot, we are done the share. Revelations from sources within Okwebolo's campaign team suggest that he has promised his senatorial seat to multiple uh, former governor's aspirants in exchange for their support for his uh, gubernatorial ambition. So this alleged back backroom deal has exposed divisions and power struggle within the party, undermining unity and cohesion ahead of the crucial election. So the reported agreement with Ak Michael on Nolememe, a former minister of works and a close associate of the People Democratic Party PDP governorship candidate, Dr. Ase Hodalu, has added to the intrigue surrounding Opebolo's uh, candidacy. So on Nolememe's decision, to align with Opebolo allegedly in exchange for the promise, promise in a terra seat highlights the complex web of political alliances and interests shaping the electoral landscape in Edo State. So it sort said the former minister knows Aswe is a more competent and by far a better candidate than Akpakuzima, eh, Akpakomiza. So Kwebolo is called Apakomiza, but for the earlier of office, he wants to go to the Senate. Can you imagine? So he knows that that's why Odalo is better than Kwebolo, but because Kwebolo has promised him the Senate seat, so in exchange for his support, that is why he's going to support APC. So they have reached an agreement to give Monday's uh, Senate seat to Ark, Mike, Mike, Ark Bishop Michael, if APC wins the election, and if things go according to plans, the implication will be that both senators and House of Reps members will be from Urumi Aziz. Hmm. However, the insiders disclose that as part of the deal, the current House of Representatives member representing the Essan Northeast, Essan Southeast Federal Constituency, Honorable Ode Okoje, we have to make way for a replacement from Essence Southeast to take over the seat. So ask if Honorable Koje will probably align with any of the other Essence Southeast politicians so that he can preserve his rep seat. The source stated that Ode is a young boy, a loyal party man, and a true son of Urumi. The Senate is better than the reps for Urumi. Let Ode relax. He has time. Can you imagine? So after the former minister finishes 
in the Senate or they can go back to the National Assembly when Akpakomiza wins the election in September or they can be made a commissioner if he helps to deliver Uromi for us. Can you imagine? So they're already trying to put somebody down be because of his young age, okay? So that they can give it to some other persons asking for it. Uh, now what for these people? Oh, this all day, I wonder how he is going to survive because already because of his age, they have already planned how they are going to put him down. That is serious. So, because of sharing of political seat, there is trouble in APC in Ado State. So, Mondo Pueblo is currently a senator and is already talking with people that he is going to exchange his senate seat with, okay, if they support him to become the governor. Ha. So, that is the problem now. So, this Onnol Meme is somebody who understands uh, Iwadalu and knows that Iwadalu is a better person than. Uh, uh, will be a better governor than uh, uh, Pueblo, but choose to back Pueblo and run away from uh, from PDP because of that promised uh, Senate seat. Uh, so with this, uh, this, there's a problem because uh, all this calculation, what if it does not work? What if Mother Pueblo loses to PDP or loses to Labour Party? What will happen to all these political calculations they are making? Uh, the already election has not been won. They are already strategizing and sharing positions, eh? just similar to what is happening in the PDP, where they are trying to share political positions, and the uh, Abasaki is almost taking everything, determining who should work with Iwadalo if he wins. The same thing that Wike did to Fubara, that Fubara is trying to correct now. All these politicians, their their interest is a big problem. Their interest cover their eyes, cover their nose, cover everything about them. They don't want to see anything apart apart from their own interest. Not, they are not even thinking of how they are going to strategize to provide dividend of democracy to the electorate, to the people they are representing. It is how they will share position, share seat, and share money. That is their problem. What a bad news for Nigeria. What a bad news for Edo people. So with what is happening now, who will Edo people vote? Is it this man, a people of APC, with APC bad record at national level already, in terms of bad performance? Or is it PDP that is already having problem with multiple fra uh, factions in PDP right now? Or is it Labour Party, a party that uh, had never been a governor before, that they are going to trust the state with to? It becomes a very big issue. So let's see how it goes between the PDP, APC, and Labour Party in the state. But it is obvious there's trouble already in uh, in APC, just like there's trouble in PDP as well. Oh, and even APC has its own share of troubles. So there's none of those parties that do not have problems you know, in one form or the other within. That's internal problems. So let's see how it goes with Monday Pueblo and its people with their sharing seat and causing, uh, you know, leading to a quarrel among themselves. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment in this regard.